I'm about to teach you how to deploy your very own Flask application on the World Wide Web. That's it, <laughs> let's dive in. Welcome to a quick Code with Josh special. Before I dive in, do me a favor, click the like and subscribe as that does help me a growing channel. Smash that like button. I'm about to help you deploy a Flask application on the World Wide Web. Guys, I put this together because deployment drives me batshit crazy and I wanna make it easy for you guys. The step-by-step -step process today, I'm gonna to put as a link in the description. All right, head down to the links in the description and you're gonna get the step-by-step -step guide as well as all my other stuff I have available to you. Use those links, those really help me. All right, enough chit chat, over to deploying your web. Nope, over to deploying your app on the web. Let's get it. All right, so the first order of business is you can see that I'm running my app here on my local server, and this is like my to-do list Flask application. Okay, so everything I have here, I have the code ready to go to be deployed on Python anywhere. All right, now the next start of the process is my code is already on GitHub. Okay, so if I head over here, here's the code that I'm gonna be using, and yours should be already on GitHub for this process. Okay, the next step is I want us to head over to a place called pythonanywhere.com. Okay, it's by Anaconda and you can create a free account. This whole thing is free. Now, when we deploy the application today, it'll be hosted on the web for free for three months. Okay, after three months, it'll be taken down or you could upgrade, all right? But since Heroku started charging us to deploy applications, I'm using Python Anywhere, all right? And it works just great. So here we are on the Python Anywhere dashboard. Now, I'm gonna go over to click on web. And we are gonna click add a new web app, okay? Let's go through the setup process together. I'll click next. And I know that we're working on a Flask application, but I'm gonna be detailed with this so it allows me to go through the steps. I'm gonna do manual configuration. So right here, I'm gonna click manual configuration. In the latest version of Python, right, uh, 3.10 is what I'm using here. Next, and it's gonna set everything up for us. That's the first step, okay? Go into web, create a new web app, and click manual configuration. That's it. You can see that I'm taken to this page, and this is really the setup for our website, okay? But the next step of the process is we need to run a few console lines. So I'm gonna click on console, and we're gonna to go to bash, and I'm gonna open up a new bash terminal. This is a bit slower because it's on Python anywhere, but it does the trick. Just give it some time to load and some time to process your bash code. Okay, so now that we're here, I'm gonna drop in some lines, some commands that I need to run here. In these commands, I'm gonna put a link in the description, step-by-step -step for you guys. All right, so head on down there if there's anything that's out and you can get that. So I'm gonna paste in here, I'm gonna create a virtual environment. Okay, and I'm naming it my virtual environment. Let's run that, this takes a few seconds. Great, okay, the next step of the process is let's head back to your GitHub. Okay, I'm gonna go here and I'm going to get our URL because I wanna clone this. Okay, so we wanna copy the repository that you're trying to deploy, right? That Flask application. Now that I have that, I'll head back here and in our console, I'm gonna write git clone paste. Run, see, all right, we've cloned it. And now I wanna CD into my folder here, all right? Whatever your folder is, that's what I wanna get into. So I'm gonna CD my CRUD app. All right, we're in the app, we are ready to go. The next thing I need to do is write all the dependencies, all the packages that you have on your Flask application, we wanna install these, all right? So you should have a requirements text file already a part of your code. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so over here, I already have one. Um, we should have put this together when we created your project, but these are all the dependencies that I have within mine and I'm using. Okay, to run this, to create a requirements text file, you can run in your terminal in VS Code, pip freeze greater than requirements.txt. I'll put it there, okay? Um, so we need to install all, all of those. Back here on Python Anywhere, I'm just gonna type pip, 
install dash r and then the name of that file requirements.txt. Now it's going to go through and install all of those dependencies that I have on my application in order to upload it. Give it some time, it'll do its thing. Awesome! We're all done there. Okay, so we're done in the console. I can close that. I'm just going to click the icon on the top left. All right, now I'm going to head back to web. I want to get into my web application. And this is really that. If we scroll down, I see two things. Well, I see a lot, okay? But the one I want to start off with is our code. We need to give a source code path to this project, all right? So to get this path, let's go up to our files, all right? And we need to open our folder, okay? So here is the git clone that we did. So I'm going to click on that and I'm inside my folder. I'm going to copy the path from right here, the whole thing, okay? Just copy that. Let's go back to your web, scroll down to code, and we're going to enter your path. And I'm going to paste that and just click check. Okay, that's it. I'm going to keep that now. I'm going to go into our WSGI file. Here we need to do some configuration. So all of this can just go away, delete that. I still have my path copied. I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to paste it here for now. Okay. Um, we need to put a little bit of code and I've included this in my template for you guys. Okay, so let me drop this in here. And this is just a little Python, all right? Now you can see my path, I'm gonna replace that and put that right into our path here, okay? Um, great, so let me talk about what this really is. Back in GitHub, okay, if I go to my project, you can see my Python file is app.py. Okay, this is really our Flask application. And if I open app.py, within that, I have the Flask application itself, app equals Flask, okay? So this is what I'm trying to open and I'm trying to run this application. Over in Python Anywhere, it says from app, this is our Python file. I would like to import the Flask application app. That's what we're doing here, okay? I'm gonna click save. That's all we need for this. And we are gonna go back now because there's one final step. Let's go back to our files and I'm gonna open my virtual environments folder. Inside, let's open up the next virtual environment folder and I'm gonna copy this entire path, okay? Copy the whole thing. I can go back to web and we're gonna go down again. Right, so previously we added in our code, I gave my source code and we configured our WSGI configuration file. I'm gonna go down to virtual environment and I'm just gonna paste in what I just got. Check. That's it, you're ready to deploy. The final step is click deploy. If we go to the top here, I'm gonna click reload and then we can click on your URL right here, okay? Whatever yours is, let's click on it and you can see that we're taken to my deployed application, right? I can run it, hello there, and you can see it's working just how it should, right? If I say, and you can see it's working just how it should. If I type subscribe, subscribe. Guys, that's awesome. Now, real quickly, I do wanna point out, depending on your application, if I go back here, okay, um, in my actual application, I'm not importing the database, okay? We have our static folder for CSS, my templates for HTML, and our app pie. My Flask application is a to-do list. So every time one of you guys opens my application, you generate your own database. So remember, you need to upload based on what your project is. Guys, you now have a deployed Flask application on the World Wide Web. Let's check it out. We have Task Smash 2.0. That is awesome, guys. I hope that I helped you, you know, not get as much gray hair as I have because that drives me crazy. And if you found this valuable, do me a favor and like this video, okay? It's a short video, but I hope it helped you. And those steps that I went through, I made for you in the link in the description, as well as all the other resources I have available to you guys. Anyways, I'll see you around in my other episodes. And if you missed my Flask episode of an introduction to Flask, 
I'm going to link that here. Head on back and check that out as I guide you through how to create your very own Flask application just like the one you saw in today's video. All right, enough chit chat. Until next week, I'll see you then.